spot. This is the spot. Looking nice, looking nice. Welcome to St. Anthony's. What you're in right now is St. Anthony's dining room. Uh, we are a free dining room. We're open every single day. We never close. Uh, we serve somewhere between 24 and 2,500 meals a day. So a big part of you guys being here today is helping us serve those meals. So a couple of us guys came out to St. Anthony's today just to give back to the community, uh, serving meals to the homeless or the less fortunate. And it was a super cool event just to give back and to see all the smiling faces. And it's very heartwarming for us players to be able to do that. All right, Carlos, here we go again. we got to stop meeting like this, brother. This is kind of a different, a different experience than what we've done. You know, everything was kind of, you know, fun things for us. And, you know, this was, you know, kind of giving back. You know, I think this is by far the most favorite thing I've done since I've been here just because it felt so rewarding in the end to see, you know, smiles on people's faces. When I first started playing basketball, I was three years old and I would go to the gym with my dad. I mean, basketball was very uh, popular in our community of, of Nova Scotia, so just tagged along with him, dribbled on the side, watched him play, and that's how I grew to play the game. My dad has always been there to push me with whatever I want to do. So say if I wanted to play softball, he would push me to play softball. So he was always really like on board with what I wanted to do and very engaged in my um, basketball career. The season 1-0. Colley puts up a three and buries it. Jay Colley getting going. He also instilled that work on my weaknesses. Uh, we play one-on-one -on -one and he knows that well, growing up, he knows that I wasn't the best with my left hand, being right hand dominant, so he always uh, forced me with my left hand and challenged me to make difficult shots with my left hand. So he just made me focus on my weaknesses and then um, grow. And then after that, we would just, you know, talk about being the best you can be because there's always someone out there who's better than me. So just being the best shape possible, he helped me. Growing up, playing one-on-one, -on -one, he wouldn't allow me to win, but. I bet now if we were to play, I would win. So it's just always to have that mentality like to like play your best and go out there and dominate. Shea Kiley now coming down for the Spartans. How do you stop that? That Shea Kiley looking calm and collected. The process of making the 12 person roster for Team Canada this year was very uh, stressful. There's only 15 athletes remaining and we had two days to show the coaches, you know, that we, that we should be on the team. And it was a very tight, very tight tryout, very nerve wracking. I mean, any, anyone can make the team. It was very close. So when I first made that team, they called me into a meeting and they were like, you made the team. It's like, I almost didn't breathe. It just uh, took me back to like all the hard work that I put in leading up to that moment. And I was just like very blessed and honored that they picked me to be a part of their 12. The experience in itself was something that I will always remember. It was my first senior women international tournament at the level and just to play with, you know, 
against some of the best. Diana Taurasi, Sue Bird, uh, Brittany Griner was definitely a learning experience for me. It means the world to me. I mean, ever since I could remember, I always wanted to play for Team Canada. You know, it's just like the proud and just to put on the jersey and just like the love that I have for my country that I'm willing to do anything just to represent them at any level. Guys, as we said all along, defense wins championship, defense wins the big games. Four times. So let's go out and defend, rebound, we run, get our offense going, but we have some confidence in what we're doing, but keep it business. Like This is where we take growth as a team today. One big growth. Win or lose, we're going to grow as a team today, all right? Michigan State, one of the best teams in the nation. Some people feel they could compete for a national championship this year against an upstart Ohio State Buckeye squad. What should we expect to see? Uh, classic offense versus defense. Michigan State outstanding, leading the conference 87 points a game. But this Ohio State team hangs its hat on defense. Watch early with Michigan State, Gus, to try to get Nick Ward involved early. Feeds Ward off the window softly and in plus the foul. Queen reloads and pure. <laughs> you can't give him two looks at it. On the baseline, Wesson, and he uses that big body to post up. They need him to get busy on the box. Jump up, counting. Back to Washington for first. Nicely done. Buckeyes hanging tight. Andre Wesson, this crowd ready to go crazy. Washington. Time on MSU. 10-0 run for the Ohio State Buckeyes. We take a 38-31 lead. If Gene able to get multiple stops on defense, that allows you now offensively to get in some kind of rhythm. Inside, Tillman outside, Arms, and that's a big time jumper. It is. That acquired the crowd a little bit. Now, eight point lead for Ohio State. <laughs> Cash Winston with the beautiful in and out to the bucket move. Winston more aggressive to start this second half. Winston the other way. Hesitation gets to the hook. Right hand, he blows to the basket. And that was on catch. Now outside, deep in the big goal. Aaron Henry. His first basket of the game gives the Spartans a one-point advantage. A 9-0 run for Michigan State. Here's Winston, hesitates and gets to the cup again. Cassius Winston at 7 at halftime. He has 15 now. Wade open. Oh, oh, driving and bangs it down. Inside, Henry dumps it. Goins. And he lays it in. And those are called game-winning plays right there, guys. Michigan State trying to get out of town with a big road win. And a steal. Goins makes up for it. Michigan State improves to 13 and 2, 4 and 0 in conference play. Ohio State suffering their first conference loss of the year, 86 to 77. The final score. You did the job. We got better defensively. We got a lot better executing our offense, and yet we have some mistakes that we got to work at. So understand, you're going to get people's best shot. You know, we got to make sure every game's our best shot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Proud of you, man. Let's go. Yeah. Good afternoon, everybody. From sunny but breezy Santa Clara, California, here in the Bay Area, the Spartans are in the Red Box Bowl at Levi's Stadium against the Ducks from Oregon. It's going to be paramount for Michigan State to provide pressure on the quarterback who has offensive coordinator type IQ, according to the coaching staff at Oregon. Here in the Red Box Bowl, and off we go from Santa Clara. Herbert throws left side, and it's tipped, and then finally knocked away from the intended receiver, Johnny Johnson, by Josh Butler. And they'll hand to LJ on second down, running to his right. Got one block, spins at the 30. Nice move. Travis died to the right of Herbert. Snap back to the big QB. Lofts it, right sideline fade. Tap 
stripped away at the last minute. Third down, and here's the screen. Die outside gets shut down. And again, Josiah Scott on third down, facing a four-man rush. Lewerke will scramble and get a first down, and then some galloping to the 25. That Michigan State run defense standing tall again. This defense is dominating the show so far. Top 25 in the country looking to strike for the first time today. Herbert gets sacked back at the 15. Left sideline throw for Brad oh, Lewerke to Daryl Stewart. Steps out of a tackle, stays on his feet inside the 40. Well, the Ducks average close to 40 points per game, but just 90 yards during that first half. Wind up rushing only four. Lewerke steps up. He's going to run for a first down, and this has been Michigan State's best offensive weapon today. Brian Lewerke on the ground. No score at the Red Box Bowl. Another handoff to LJ off left tackle. Finds some running room. There's daylight. He's at the 30. Matt Coglin with a 33-yard field goal try from the right hash mark. The placement, the kick is up, and the kick is good. Finally, points on the board. First down handoff to LJ Scott. On third and short, it's Scott. It's close. Second effort is going to get him a first down. Low line drive, cutting through the wind. He's got it again. And Michigan State doubles the lead to 6 0. To the air again. Mitchell able to squeeze this one against Josiah Scott. Herbert would die to his right. Snap back. Soft pass toward the right pylon. Oh, and the catch is going to be made by Dylan Mitchell. He hung on this time. And in a ball game, probably neither team deserved to lose. The Spartans do lose it to the Oregon Ducks. The final, Oregon 7, Michigan State 6. But, you know, they have a lot of great pieces coming back, and hats off to the seniors for all that they've been able to do from a leadership standpoint and their production on the field. But Michigan State has a lot to look forward to defensively and offensively. If they, have a lot of, they have a lot of talent coming back to build upon this season next year. I guess when you, when you look at our football team, what I, what I can get, get from the season is that we played extremely hard and we're competitive in every football game, every one of them. Um, that we have great chemistry, that we did things right, that we've left the place better once we got there than when we, you know, when we leave, we leave a hotel or wherever we're at better than when we, when we got there. That we've swept the sheds, in other words. So I'm very proud of our football team, and I'm proud of the chemistry, and I'm, I'm proud of the way that they handle themselves. Um, and that's my takeaway from the season. You know, um, we're still a seven and six game, and like I said earlier, some people celebrate that. We're just not at that point right now in terms of what we've been able to accomplish in the past. So seven and six is a little bit of a downer, but uh, we'll rise back up. Time management is a challenge being a student athlete because you have practice, school, and then you have to fit in uh, homework in there. Just with that, it just goes hand in hand. I'm happy to have a coach like Susie mentioned to you know respect my Team Canada goals and also uh, help me here at Michigan State. I have a little dog, his name is King, you know, we go for long walks and just spend time with him to unwind from basketball is what I do the most. Ever since, you know, high school, when I first made Team Canada, it's always been go to the Olympics, whether that was the 2016 or the 2020. Getting there or where I am right now has been nothing but blood, sweat, and tears. More tears than sweat and blood, to be honest, because it's, it takes a toll on you. You know, you're going year round with school and then Team Canada, and then mentally you get drained. So just to reach that goal will pay, will, would mean a lot to me, and just to know that like I've been through a lot and like this is finally in, and I'm happy that I've been through the challenges to get to this point to reach my goal. Jump shot. Hey. Coming from a small town, family is pretty much all I had or we had, we had each other. So, you know, just growing up, I just try to, you know, be the best I can, not for myself, but for my family and my community back home in Nova Scotia. 
means a lot for my grandfather to have seen me play. It was the first time that he ever got to see me play throughout my whole career. You know, he's in a wheelchair, so, you know, getting him out of Nova Scotia is not the easiest. He's getting older and just his, mobi his mobility is pretty challenging itself, so just to get him out here. And it was also his 67th birthday on the Saturday, so, you know, it means a lot because growing up, my grandfather always preached education, education, education. He's like, no matter whatever you do, just make sure you got your education. And through basketball, I was able to get my education. So for him to be here, it meant the world to me and something I remember for a lifetime. I showed him around the campus, like, this is where I have class. This is where I have class. He was like, do you go to class? I'm like, yeah, of course, Granddad. So he's just a stickler about that. And then, yeah, for him, uh, Preaching education so much growing up is the reason why it's like a main focus of mine today. Being someone who looked up to people now to be someone who people look up to, it just means a lot. I mean, humble beginnings, that's all I can say. You know, it didn't come from much, but it just put in the hard work and it's just an honor and blessed to have little kids look up to me like that. My family drives me. They are my why, I mean, I am the first person in my family to attend university, so that in itself is why I play. I mean, they look up to me. Oh, Shay's on TV, Shay's. They come here and they see the facility and they're just like, wow. They think the world of me. They're like, oh, you're a superstar. I'm like, no, I'm just, you know, playing NCAA basketball. But it's just for them to like show them that if I can do it, you can do it too. It doesn't matter where we come from, you know, like just dream big and work hard and, you know, it, it would all pay off. Welcome to East Lansing, Michigan, where this will be a challenging weekend for the Spartans, considering that scoring depth is one of their weaknesses, and that's a big strength for Ohio State. Ohio State, an impressive 11-4 and 3 overall. This would be a great way for the Spartans to start off the new year with a win over the top team in the league here at home. for Patrick Kodorenko, Lewandowski, Hiroshi scores! That's why they're one of the most dangerous lines in the nation. Big rebound, Sasana shooting, scores! Sasana, the freshman, Michigan State has their first lead of the night. Hiroshi scores the first one, sets up the second one. His 22nd assist of the season, leading the nation. Still freshman certainly adds to the depth. Ooh, a turnover in Ohio State. Gift wrapped a goal. It's Quinn Preston into the empty net. The Buckeyes back in the lead. 20 minutes down, 40 yet to play. I'm not sure that anybody in the building expected five goals in the first period between these two teams. Look at the Ohio State Buckeyes last year making it all the way to the Frozen Four. Now they've got all the ingredients to get back. Preston trying to exploit it. Cool backhand pass and an even cooler finish. Quinn Preston, Mason Yops, thank you very much. A beautiful Buckeye goal, and they have their first two lead, two goal lead of the night. Showing his mobility. Now moving in and slaps it from the boards and finds some room by Drew DeRitter. It's now 6 3, Ohio State. And Ohio State showing flashes of the team from last year that can pile up goals in a hurry. Giant power play here for Michigan State. They're going to have a chance in this game. You'd have to think they have to convert with this man advantage situation. It's now expired. Rosberg shooting, scores! Tipped in front, just as the power play expired. Still lots of time for the Spartans, down two. And it's Yops to the punishing put down there from Zach Osborne on the captain, Mason Yops. Here's Osborne! What a shot off the goal post. Michigan State up to five goals. They're down by two with about four minutes to go in regulation. Keeps it in the zone. Mitchell Lewandowski, Kodorenko swings it in front. Look to ricochet off the skate of Hiroshi. It's still a lot of hockey to play, and it's a one-goal game. It didn't seem like that. But Michigan State has hung around and crept back in. The Ritter's going to the bench. It'll be six attackers for the Spartan. Squirts in front and out of the point. Sasana, they tie it! Sasana, the shot, ties it with 47 seconds to go! 
shocking late developments. What a comeback from Michigan State. It, it looked like they were dead and gone at times during the third period, but they persist and fight, and here we go. They make it to sudden death overtime, 7-7 after 60 minutes. Buckeyes look like they were going to cruise to their sixth road win of the year. But a five-goal third period for Michigan State has prevented that. Michigan State, Zach Osborne, Logan Lambert shoots, scores! Overtime game winner, Logan Lambert. Arena, and they were rewarded with a never say die effort from these Spartans. Down by three, come back against one of the top defensive teams in the nation.